everybody. We are off to Cocoa Beach today to uh, check out the ocean. Um, Florida is not kind to your hair. Oh my God. Like frizzy galore. Anybody in my family knows that we have this like ridiculously horrible uh, thin hair that just frizzes up. Like, look at that. I tried to like put it back in a ponytail a little bit, but Anyway, so we're gonna check out the ocean. On the way there, we're going to stop at Lake Jessup to see some alligators. We're on a mission to look for some alligators in their natural setting, and we came upon this place that just happens to have a little parrot museum. Ow! What is your name? He wants you to scratch his head, but we're not supposed to touch. So I can't scratch your head. Anyway, it's kind of a cool little find. We're not sure if we're going to see some alligators here in a minute, but uh, it does. yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, we managed to find some that are caged, <laughs> but we want to find some that are like for real. So this is Lake Jessup. It's supposed to have the highest population of natural uh, alligators in Florida. So we're at this place called Black Hammock boat rentals or whatever and they've got like this little walkie thing here so we're just kind of walking around to see if we can see anything but we see a white stick bird the white stick bird oh actually that's kind of a different white stick bird that's like a little miniature heron or something he's pretty cute so we're not sure if we're like walking around somewhere we're not supposed to but we're just kind of walking it's really pretty out here. This is a huge lake. We are seeing no gators other than the ones in the cage. Unless that's one. What's that floating over there? Look at it. Hang on. Hang on. There we go, folks. There's one popping his eyeballs out of the water right there. Look at that. Just a little guy though. Still wouldn't want to mess with it. Ah, gator. We're not down by where the pier is because I'm assuming that that'll be a tourist nightmare. But uh, we are here at the beach. It is cold as hell. The river's trying to get some seashells. And uh, I'm just trying to tell her not to get caught out in the water because this is not like Lake Erie water. Some surfers out there. We're not gonna surf today, maybe tomorrow. I think we might come back. But we did go into Ron John's for a few minutes and let me tell you how cool that store is. Oh my gosh. I love let me show you wait for it wait for it
<laughs> Good morning. Just going to head out and check out of our cute little condo. It's a bittersweet time. Actually, it's really bitter more than sweet because <laughs> we're heading back to stormy weather. Bleh. I absolutely love this place. I heard read reviews saying that they haunt you for timeshare things and all that, but I didn't see a single person. I probably with my body language when we checked in, I made it hopefully clear that I'm it's not what I'm interested in. But you know what though? I would stay here again and I would recommend this place to anybody because it's cheap. And it's great. Like there's, even if you just hung around, which we never did, we never got to enjoy the actual property too much. We did the pools and stuff, but um, it would have been really nice to have spent a little more time here just to, uh, like everything's included in your stay. You can ride the bicycles, you can do putt-putt golf, there's paddle boats, all kinds of fun stuff here to do if you just wanna just chill for the day. But we never, uh, we were so busy, so. Anyways, we are checking out today's plan. River wants a haircut, so we're gonna get that. And we are gonna go to the Cat Cafe for a little coffee. And then we're gonna hit the outlet malls because rumor has it, Florida's really good for shopping. So I'm gonna do that. We'll see you in a bit. So right now we are at the Cat Cafe in Orlando. Uh, this place here you come, you get coffee and snacks and you can get um, an admission ticket for $8 for adults and the money goes towards helping these cats and kittens get adopted. It's such a great idea. So you come in and uh, drink your coffee and you get to like chill with some cats. I'll show you around. So this guy just came last night. And then there's this, this little guy. Woo! And there's couches and all kinds of really nice little spots for them. This is the kitten playhouse. <laughs> They got so many little hidey holes. Sleeping wall. This is such a fun little place. It's just a tail sticking out. trying to kill time today we have to head back to the airport eventually about 5 30 our flights already delayed due to weather at home so we killed some time at the outlet mall 
where they had some Waffle House, and now we're gonna go ride the Orlando Star Flyer. It's a um, swings, like a swings ride. And it's like 450 feet in the air. <laughs> All right, so we weren't allowed to take video up on the Star Flyer. Boo, but oh man, was that ever fun. But you guys gotta see this. Check out this mega Ferris wheel. This makes ours in Niagara Falls look like a flip up carnival one. This thing's a monster. So, Car rental return at Orlando Airport is awful. There's no warning whatsoever like coming towards the airport where you should go to, to uh, car rental return. And even when you do the search on Google Maps, it shows, it, it doesn't really come up. So this cluster fuck right now is all people trying to squeeze into one damn lane for car rental returns. And it is a freaking nightmare like horrible and nobody's gonna let me in but I'm just gonna squeeze my ass in here because I don't care unbelievable this is not like Sky Harbor at all where you get a 10 mile warning on the freeway of where to go for car rental returns so I just managed to squeeze my way in here one lane 4,000 cars coming in at once. This is gonna take a while. It's a good thing that we are uh, fairly early-ish. Cleared security, heading back to Terminal B where we're gonna get on our flight in a few hours. Bye, Orlando. Any gators? Gators? <sighs> so we're heading home to some uh, crappy weather. And, um, yeah, overall, it was a pretty good trip. What do you think? She left her hoodie at the hotel. <coughs> Anyways, that's all, folks. <laughs>